hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to phantom strategies so I want to bring you an update for Bitcoin it's about 6 45 p.m. Eastern here in US today is July 23rd um, and uh, Bitcoin is trading at around 7731 right now um, so we had a nice distance bounce uh, in last last week or so uh, and we are coming up against some resistance right now so I want to talk about that a little more in detail um, going into this week finishing up the month of July uh, so all that good stuff um, so before we get started uh, if you're new to the channel please make sure you subscribe to the channel hit those notification and the bell icon so you can get this content right away uh, share the word about cryptocurrency all the good thing all the bad thing whatever you have learned about cryptocurrency over the years share it with your friends and family share any good channels that you're following you know that's how we grow as a community that's how we grow into the crypto market so please do your part so you can you know uh, you know pass on the word uh, and it's not about like you know just telling them all the good things about it tell them all the you know the risks that are involved with uh, trading in crypto as well so you're being honest about like you know how what kind of expectation they should be having if they're trying to invest some money in the crypto market okay um, so right now again uh, Bitcoin is uh, trading around 7700 and um, I'm just gonna change this support it used to be resistant now it's a support line so I'm just changing the color of that remember at uh, the blue dotted line those are the support levels the red dotted lines those are the uh, those are the resistance level all right if the price action is trading about the blue dot that basically mean you know we are if we fall back the support level will be there to hold up the price action if we're coming close to the red dotted line means we are coming near the resistance okay so Bitcoin again um, right now we had a nice decent bounce last week a lot of volume came into the market the average volume is going up as well I have been talking about you know the volume in the market should be coming in in the later part of July due to like a lot of professional trader coming back into the market after vacation after going back uh, after coming back from vacations uh, so that is expected all right so it is pretty cyclical it's pretty like you know uh, yearly trend every time in like you know month of June uh, May June the volume drops off it's, it's very normal it's pretty similar to other markets as well okay so right now uh, we are coming up against this if you see this uh, pink resistance line uh, which kind of provide us that support the starting support point was around that uh, April early April time frame we you know got some support back in uh, end of May it broke the support level uh, and then uh, now going up what will happen is that will act as a resistance all right so right now we are barely barely like you know over that resistance um, I'm expecting like you know some follow-through but uh, there is still significant resistance lying ahead okay so right now the first level of resistance that I'm seeing right now that we need to clear with good volume is going to be around 7800 okay 7800 and then the next level will be around 8000 uh, so those are the two big numbers that are um, that are in near term that if you can clear those number um, and if we can stay over those numbers, that will be extremely bullish. Okay, just because we are clearing, if we are touching those numbers and coming back, uh, that's not really, you know, it's, it's, it's that's that's not like a strong momentum. All right, we don't want people to just taking profit at like eight thousand level, seven thousand, seven eight hundred level. We want a nice follow through from those level. Okay, so right now, first of all, we need to. Um, we need to hit those level and then we need to have the follow through um, the only thing that is a little bit um, you know concerning or I should I say I should be cautious if you are trying to add up more position or trying to um, start a new position is is because of like the RSI the relative strength index we are coming to like a little bit overbought stage you know it's coming near there uh, so it will need some consolidation period before we have a nice breakout uh, so keep that in mind and even if we break out let's say if we break out and if we go to the 8000 level um, 
or perhaps 8,400 level in the uh, next 24 to 48 hours. That will again put us in the order bought situation. Okay, so I will be taking some profit at least if we are hitting those 8,400 level. Let's say if we are hitting the 8,400 within next uh, 24 to 48 hours, I will be uh, taking some profit of the like uh, from the market I will just take some some uh, uh, you know some coins of the market just because it will just make that price action in the old bought territory and you know it can um, can it go past 8400 and just go to 9000 straight away absolutely anything it can happen but the likelihood of happening is quite low okay and um, we need a little more time to consolidate we need a little more time to settle down before we can have the second push up toward 9400 um, so remember if anything like if we are like breaking out and we're going to the 8000-8400 level in next 24 to 48 hours those levels will provide some resistance uh, and I won't be surprised if we have a pullback from this level it's just a minor retracement um, in my opinion but it, it can turn into a sell-off too so I, I would be a little more, more cautious okay um, just like you know uh, the buyers uh, sorry the sellers were getting exhausted uh, right here you know pushing it up higher you know it will need a lot of new buyers to come in otherwise the buying power will also get exhausted so remember it's not a one-way street okay just like down here sellers were getting exhausted people like buyers will get exhausted too they will be out of money too unless there, there are new buyers who are coming into the market and constantly coming into the market so remember those things all right um, so uh, if, if it's happening too fast too soon then lock in some profit can it go up higher yeah absolutely it can go higher so I mean the best strategy you can do is like you know put in your stop losses like let's say 10% uh, of your position you want to put in your stop losses and you want to make sure that you know if, if the price action you you want to make sure that you're locking in some profits and uh, so just put some stop losses or just take the profit at certain level like you know 8400 you know keep those numbers in mind that okay I will take some profit if, if Bitcoin hit 8,400 and those kind of things will help you with your trading um, again you don't have to be um, you don't have to be like you know right every single time okay let me say this again all right you don't have to be right every single time but what are you trying to do what are you trying to minimize is being wrong most of the uh, you know uh, less time what are you trying to do is like you having your like bad trade you're trying to minimize your bad trade and you're trying to maximize your if you minimize your bad trade automatically what will happen is your well you will start increasing your good trades and that's the key protecting your profit that's the rule number one okay if you protect your profit you know um the uh, and if you like have your risk management the um that will be the like ultimate thing that will take care of your account because you don't want to be you know just you don't want to be emotional trading where you are like up 20 30 percent in a day 20 30 percent down in a day that will just exhaust you as a trader that will mentally exhaust you uh, it, it's not sustainable and those trading and those type of trading is not sustainable all right so do keep that in mind it will exhaust you so you you gotta be very um, careful sometimes yeah you you will like you know you will be out of the position and you'll be like oh I should have left in but remember if you have the if you there will be plenty of time that that will happen to you that doesn't mean that you cannot like you know you cannot hit every single trade okay what I'm trying to say is your goal should be not to hit every single trade you know if you're trying to hit home run on every single ball then you're gonna get striked out okay so remember that you're not trying to hit home run on every single trade you want to make sure you're last you're lasting there for a long time and that's how you're gonna be you know that's how you're gonna play the longer inning okay all right, so hopefully this was helpful. I'm going to go back to the daily chart again. Um, just to recap, we are coming against uh, some resistance level. Uh, 7,800 and 8,000 will be the short-term resistance. If we see those points breaking out and if we are going toward that 8,000, that in 24 to 48 hours, that will act as a resistance. So uh, 
um, don't expect a major like you know uh, move up um, it need we need to digest some of those gains uh, that's all that's what I'm trying to say here um, nothing is wrong in this chart we had a nice breakout of inverse head and shoulder pattern which I talked about in previous video we had a really nice breakout here now we just need some you know consolidation and a follow through okay uh, so that's all guys let me know if you have any questions post it in the comment and we'll go from there talk to you soon